Proposals are an important part of DAO governance and can be used to fund DAO projects or ratify DAO level decisions like updating the stake target. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a new proposal. To protect the DAO against proposal spam, members must meet two requirements before creating a proposal. First, members must have the required amount of voting power. By default, the minimum voting power is 0.1%, but is subject to DAO governance. Second, members must not have created a proposal in the last seven days. Note that primary and secondary proposals have separate cooldowns. To check if you meet these requirements, hover over the tooltip next to the New Proposal button. If you qualify to create a new proposal, click the New Proposal button to begin. Start by selecting the proposal type. Primary proposals require an absolute majority vote, while secondary proposals require a 15% vote to pass. Let's start by giving our proposal a title. The title is displayed on the governance page and is used to identify the proposal, so it's best to use a descriptive title. Next is the description field, where we can provide details about our proposal. Below that is the target contract address. This is the address of the contract you want to call. Next is the target contract signature, which defines the signature of the function you want to call in the target contract. The value field specifies the amount of ETH you want to send along with the function call. You can use a value of zero if the target function is not payable. Finally, the parameter field defines the arguments that will be used to call the target function. The arguments must be provided in JSON array format where the values are stringified. When you're ready, click the Create button at the bottom of the page. After the proposal is created, it's added to the proposal list and ready for voting. In this video, we've covered how to create a governance proposal. In the next video, we'll look at how to vote and delegate.